No. Absolutely not. Never challenge a computer to a test of speed, accuracy, or precision. Damn, that was easy. Um, well now. For this test, I'm going to be going against a Python. Now, I've chosen this reaction time test because what I'm going to be using is a mixture of OpenCV and PyAuto GUI. So this test, you can see the colors change very vividly. So what I can do is I can set it up to wait for the mouse, and then as soon as it sees a bit of green, it'll click. First thing we need to do is set a benchmark. See how fast I can do it? And then see how well the computer can pull with me. Now, my reaction times are not great. Um, but I'm getting consistently below 300 milliseconds. Two hundred and seventy one milliseconds. And if we go down here Well Now we start the coding montage. Oh, of course, the uh, spelling is American. <laughs> and then, after, albeit not a lot of work and only 10 lines of code, we get this beauty. Yeah, I'd say it's um, pretty fast. Wow, well, that is that is quite fast, isn't it? That's <laughs> I'm not even close. Fifty four milliseconds. Um Oh dear. That's that's impossibly fast. That um that um with this high quality zoom in, am I right? Oh dear. Yeah, I think um I think the computer definitely um on this one. So um, this 47 milliseconds that you see here seems to be the um, fastest time that I've managed to get it to do, which is still pretty fast. Um, and yeah, 100th percentile. Um, I think I think the answer is no to this one. Definitely, definitely. I mean, we knew that from the start, but um, I made a video about it anyway. <laughs>